What's going on, guys? It's Iowa Jaguar here today. I just got out of Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, I bought some overpriced shoes, and I looked online. They're like $50 cheaper. Don't ever go to Dick's to get shoes. It, it's fucking bullshit. That whole store is kind of just ass. I don't even know why. I think it's just because I got a gift card there or whatever, so I decided to spend it and get some shoes. But uh, other than that, I fucking hate Dick's Sporting Goods. They always come in and they stare at you. And they fucking stare you down until you fucking buy something that's $100 worth of fucking shit. Like, I remember one time, like, for... Because uh, I played in, like, a BPV league, like, a baseball league or whatever. And I was trying to try out a bat. And he's like, are you going to fucking buy it? I was like, I don't know. Are you going to shut the fuck up? Like, I don't know. Not, I'm not too hot on Dick Sporting Goods. But other than that, I'm going to get to some Jaguar news. Urban Meyer is apparently looking at the defensive coordinator for Alabama or... I think it was Ohio State. Um, I'm trying to remember his name. But uh, the Jets got Robert Sal as their head coach. So I want to say shout out to Jets fans and my friend Antonio. Because um, that's gonna, that's a really big move. And I think that's the perfect... I think that's the perfect candidate for the job for the Jets. Because I think with the talent that they have built around it, that's going to be a defensive-minded team. And I think if that if Robert can sign a defensive, I mean, an offensive guru coordinator, that team could work wonders with someone the likes of Trevor Lawrence, even though I think he's going to go to us, or Justin Fields, or even Zach Wilson if they want to get him. But I think I feel like the Falcons are the most interested in Zach Wilson or Trey Lance at a BYU. Or I'm thinking that's more the Lions move because they can't get up high enough unless they trade picks or they want to get Deshaun Watson. I think they would trade that there because Jeffrey Akuda does not look like the fucking answer. I am so fucking glad we took C.J. Henderson. I think every Jaguars fan's looking at this move now thinking like, oh, we got the second best cornerback in draft. I think we got the best. Jeff Akuda looks like dog shit. I mean, if you're looking at rumors to trade this motherfucker one year after you like looked at, you took the you took this man with not the fourth or the fifth or you took him with the third overall fucking pick. Jesus Christ, that's a dumbass move, even for the Lions. And the that's saying something. I don't know any Lions fans, and it's weird because I'm from Iowa and Detroit's just right up there. But, um, fuck, I feel bad for you guys. It, it doesn't look like it's getting any better, but, I mean, at least you guys got rid of Matt Patricia. But um, the offensive defense, I know for player directory, I'm he, I think, um, the player directory for Ohio State, I'm trying to remember his name, but I know he worked with him, I think, at Florida. But he's looking at it, going into him. Sorry, I just I kind of look up on the internet and then research these things. So I'm not the best with names until unless I like thoroughly research the guys. But um definitely when I get more news and I get the and I get the official names for the coaching staff, I will definitely look into their careers and review. But Urban Meyer, I think I'm looking pretty happy, and I think the Jaguars are trying to do a Jimmy Johnson sort of thing where you bring in a really high-established college coach, and you see how he can con can convert into the NFL, and he's getting full control. It's not like the Jets where they've had Matt, where they've had issues where they won't give the coach full control, and I think Urban Meyer, a guy who builds teams, needs that amount of control to be successful. You can't put him with a specified coaching staff because Todd Walsh sucks cock. Jay Gruden, if you kept him, I wouldn't be angry, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be extremely happy either. I mean he is good with quarterbacks, but I think Urban Meyer is a guy that needs to mentor Trevor Lawrence. Cause I think year one with Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields or whatever, I think the big thing of this is is you have to get him confident and you have to get that O-line. It's not even really about winning games. I think that's more for Urban Meyer because he gets really upset when he loses. But I think we're definitely going to stay competitive throughout the whole year if we if we put the pieces together right. So, I mean, it's kind of like I'm, I'm definitely – I'm not going to lie to you. I'm happy that the direction we're going in right now. I like the Urban Meyer signing definitely because I don't think Robert Shell would have been the best to pair with Trevor Lawrence – Maybe with Miles Jack and Joe Schober and CJ Henderson, maybe that would have been a better move. But I'm just thinking, like, dude, you have to, like, Urban Meyer needs his control and he needs guys that he works with. I mean, he's never had a losing season in college and he's been with ass teams like Bowling Green. I mean, he's been in powerhouses like SEC and the Big Ten and all that. So, I mean, I'm. I'm pretty excited about it, but um, I think 
one pr proposition that I that I was trying to make this video about today because someone told me today about how Telvin Smith got cleared from the police and that the charges were dropped because they were inadequate and there was no evidence to back them up. I think we should try to convince or Shad Khan or Urban Meyer should definitely try to talk to Telvin Smith about coming back. I know it's a long shot, but I mean, for a defense that's lacking such veteran leadership, I feel like this would be a great move. Even if he doesn't play amazing, he's got the knowledge in his head and he's such a good mentor. And I mean, he knows how to, he's a ball hawk, man. He knows how to get to the fucking football. And I think he could really teach players. Like, I know Joe Schobert's an established veteran, but I still, you can always learn every day. And Miles Jack, I mean, look at when they were paired together, they were fucking beautiful. That was a beautiful linebacking core in 2017. So I definitely think this would not be a bad thing to try. And also, he's still under contract, so it's not like you have to go pay the dude a bunch of money. You just have to give him back his. You still just have to give him the money that you owe him, I think. Um, unless there were issues with the contract, because usually, because I mean, fuck, even Justin Blackman's still under contract. I don't fucking understand that, but he's technically still on the roster because they haven't cut him yet. But um, yeah, I mean, I think, I I think Urban Meyer, especially with all the fucking draft picks you have, especially when you're picking first in every single round, I think. He could definitely build a good-ass team. And I think Telvin Smith, if he doesn't have any more personal issues and he's good to go, I think he could definitely do wonders for this team. Um, that